Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler. And I'm Jordan Orcas. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 6. Accusations of sexual harassment against the governor have prompted four prosecutors to request more information from the state's attorney general. This as the calls for Andrew Cuomo's resignation continue to grow. The attorney general's office releasing the results of a month-long independent investigation just yesterday detailing lengthy and repeated allegations of sexual harassment against the governor. Those allegations range from inappropriate comments to forced kissing and groping. Now multiple district attorneys are requesting more details from the attorney general's office to determine if any of the conduct as alleged to have occurred in their jurisdiction is criminal. Now we have live team coverage tonight on the allegations against the governor. Our 18 News reporter Sarah Wilson has a breakdown of the potential criminal investigations that could be on the horizon. And 18 News reporter Tara Lynch has more on the calls for resignation and impeachment ringing across the state. We start off tonight's team coverage with Sarah in the 18 Newsroom. Sarah, could the governor be facing criminal charges? Good evening, Jordan. Yes, the governor could ultimately be facing criminal charges. However, legal experts tell me that is likely an uphill battle given that prosecutors can't fully rely on the attorney general's report. The future of Governor Andrew Cuomo remains uncertain as the attorney general's findings pave the way for a possible criminal investigation. I'll leave to the lawyers to determine prosecution. It certainly sounds like there are some major offenses there. District attorneys in Albany, Nassau, Westchester and Manhattan all now launching probes into the governor's alleged actions. The AG's office calling this a civil matter, but DA offices across New York are investigating potential criminal charges. The problem with criminal behavior is the standard of proof is really high. You have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the conduct occurred. Legal experts note that workplace harassment generally isn't illegal, but a criminal case can take place if touching is, quote, forcible. The standard for criminal charges is vastly different than the standard applied by this in, during this investigation or that would be applied in a civil suit. A civil lawsuit can be filed by any of the 11 women accusing Cuomo of misconduct. The individual filing it could receive compensation in the form of financial loss or emotional damages. Adding to the case, the governor's completion of sexual harassment training during his time in office. Having taken the training, it puts the governor in a position where he might be subjected to punitive damages even more than he otherwise would have because he can't deny not knowing that this was inappropriate. The DA's office is welcoming any other woman with accusations to come forward.